These musicians are swaying to the sensual rhythm of Congolese rumba. This is the cradle of the famous music, which returned after a loop around the world. Crooners sing in the local Lingala language about life, love, and politics. The independence cha-cha has, for example, become the unofficial anthem of African independence movements. The independence cha-cha, this iconic song about our country's independence, is one of the triumphs in the history of our music. It's a source of pride for us and for our country. The National Institute of Arts in Kinshasa has fought to have Congolese rumba inscribed on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Congo succeeded in having five national parks registered in the 1970s as natural heritage sites. But again, natural heritage. In terms of cultural heritage, nothing at all. And it is for this reason that we are pushing to get the rumba on the list. The slave trade brought the music from Africa to the Americas. From there, instruments and styles evolved to jazz in North America and rumba in South America. The slaves on the ship played music, jazz and rumba. It's a symbiosis that our musicians here were able to tap into as well. The music eventually returned to its birthplace. Travelers brought back records from overseas, and it became the rage in Kinshasa and Brazzaville in the 1940s. It is a passion shared by all Congolese today, whether from a secular or religious point of view and it has become holistic. It touches on all areas of life. It is this passion that unites both the Congos, whose capitals face each other across the river that shares their name. It wasn't always promoted effectively, but live bands keep up the tradition every Friday and Saturday. Congolese rumba lives on. <laughs>